Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Multi Tarot reading June 2018 4 positional spread and uh, this is going to be as well an enhanced spread and the first position does show up the Scorpio's topic that June has to offer for us then we do have June's challenges with Scorpio's that we need to overcome then comes the positivity that the month has to offer for us and then is the known as final outcome position or the result of all that as this is an enhanced spread uh, that means that we will draw multiple cards into a position or in our case two cards per position so the, fir the first card for the topic is the six of swords with the eight of swords so what happens here is that we will be left with no chance whatsoever there will be something we need to do and we cannot stall it any longer that is most likely related to traveling reallocation uh, uh, in an, or uh, in general it's related for us to uh, kind of like step outside of your comfort zone it could be as well swapping homes you know uh, it's it's again in the qualification of reallocation but if we cannot delay it any longer that's the point now uh, it is normal that we will be afraid of that kind of a change into our life and that will be a change in that particular sense all right it's not going to be a change into career or uh, into a relationship it is just it has to do something with us making some actions to improve our circumstances into multiple fronts and those actions should be brave actions you know should be the step toward the unknown and the fact that we do have the eight of swords in conjunction with that card it means that even though we may be afraid we will see that this is the only way the only option available for us from now on uh, because everything else it is the very best are going to keep up in the same uh, <clears throat> in the same level of life as we are right now and as we all know life is about constant improvement if we can't improve then we are not uh, leading our life um, fulfilling all right we are not making our life uh, our lives fulfilling very important to be acknowledged here is that in reality there is nothing we should be afraid of guys i mean we should be uh, as a matter of fact grateful that we do have the um, the opportunity to make those brave actions to improve our circumstances especially if this is a, a chance for you to travel all right <clears throat> for example you could be sit situated into United States you may have a proposition for England for example and you may you may be hesitant taking that particular uh, position you know in your company into England because that will be change of environment well you have to at least try it out all right so that that kind of a uh, event it is what is going to happen in our lives due june 2018 the negativity here is the seven of swords with the moon card or rather the challenges that we need to face so these cards are pointing that it is not only about us this is about everything we love and it is about everything we uh, fight for and this is where the sense of selfishness comes in all right so first things that we are going to think about is how this is going to reflect us in general but again it is not about us here these cards are showing that we are going to be prone to think mostly for us rather than for those which that event affects that could be your wife it could be your child as well or it could be your company in general so instead of thinking mainly for ourselves here we have to think for the common good we have to think for the grand scale and because we do have the moon card we will not be able to see the immediate benefits of what we are going to have as soon as we take that step toward the unknown as I said toward transformation towards a certain change and that again is not going to be total change this is going to be a change for the better in the already existing tasks and things that you have so it's going to be improvement into your career or improvement into your relationship only if you are brave enough to take it all right to make that step toward the unknown and only if you make it for the common good all right not for your own personal but
but for the mutual common good of all even if we are not seeing as I said the immediate benefits of all that very important as well is not to argue here because we do have the seven of swords which points that you're gonna put quite of a standpoint here saying that this is not uh, this is not something you would rather want to do you know how this could be your problem etc etc in general you will find yourself very resilient against what you have been asked to try to slumber that resilience guys and try it out of course because we do have the minor arcanas here you can always take that step back but as soon as you make it you will find out that this is actually the key for your better life and then we do have the positivity the month has to offer that is going to be the king of coins with the page of coins or the page of pentacles so king of pentacles and page of pentacles that speak for a person and as a matter of fact this is a, a very close per person of yours but the fact that we do have the page of pentacles into a, a catalyst position does point that this will be most likely a, a emotional support that this person uh, that this person will give you you know this person will show how much they love you how much they support you and also they will make you aware that actually by you taking that particular step toward the unknown uh, you have nothing actually to lose so uh, the only thing you can do for, with that kind of an action is to improve because you will become aware through the conversations with that person and through spending time with them you know is that you already reached a point where you consolidated everything you have worked for until now all right and right now it is time for you to make bold actions all right and to take some let's say irrational decisions or decisions that go against your personal logic but it doesn't have to be against the logic of the world all right because there are different types of people as i'm scorpio i know that i'm not a person who likes to gamble into uh, venture in general but right now we have to do that because it's going to be the trampoline we can we can jump from and to as i said improve our circumstances in many situations and in many fronts in a big and huge way and the final outcome of that or the results of all this is we do have the star card and that speaks for itself really is um, and then we do have the hangman next to it and because the star card is the main card and the hangman is only uh, the catalyst showing the circumstances that speak for a, a huge drop of blockage what i mean is that the and the despondent situation the poignant experiences that you had until now are, are over guys that is a, a clearance this is the door opening for you that is the devotion you needed the long-term goal devotion this is the reunion of you and a certain person that is the support you required with, without which you couldn't push your things through until now but the hangman is no longer this is the uh, wavering and then uh, effect which is fading all right the star takes place over it and uh <clears throat> it points that also the setback you had until now was a test of faith all right you have been preparing yourself for taking on that very small tiny uh, step but in the same time very important toward as i said the unknown which again is going to open a, a brand new field of the world around you and as i said here the star card does point that this is going to be such an adventure that you will never want to end the star card also points that you're going to find the love you require you're going to find as i said the support you require not to mention that people will praise you in many ways because they will see in you the natural leader they they have waited all right and also um, uh, that card in general is the marking of end of a term end of suffering and end of uh, end of state of helplessness as well toward your situation so you can you can expect that June is going to be a month where the blockages are going to be dropped off and you will have a, a lot of varieties and clearance to work with your skills with your love and as well with in general with your ideas and with your dreams because now they can come true only thing you need Scorpios is the guts and the courage to uh, to uh, initiate on them. 
So with that being said, Scorpio, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading, June 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. I'm so thrilled. I have no patience whatsoever. Or in other words, I'm so looking forward for the 1st of June so these energies can kick in, which is, by the way, tomorrow. And uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching. And in case you do want a personal reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.